Hi everyone, this is Joel from Nyabi Zoo, and to continue our animal tales, I want to read you one of my favorite books. This one is called Who's Butt, right? And so you can probably guess what this book is going to be about. So let's take a look at some animal butts and see if we can figure out who they are, okay? All right, so, uh, ooh, look at that butt. Whose butt is this? This may look like an ordinary animal butt, but watch what happens when it dashes away. Hmm, what could it possibly be? Let's look. Oh, look! See when he dashes away? It's a deer! Uh, when a white-tailed deer senses danger, its tail shoots up in the air. Boing! And the white on the underside of the deer's tail is like a warning flag. It tells other deer that danger is near. So run, run, run away quick! That's a pretty cool butt, isn't it? That's right. Oh, whose furry butt is that? Let's see. With a long, shaggy tail, it looks like a dog's butt. Hmm. But you wouldn't want to pet this behind because that butt belongs to a wolf. That's right. So it's a wolf's butt. The gray wolf can communicate with its tail to tell other wolves that it's the leader of the pack. Uh, a wolf holds its tail up high. Uh, a frightened wolf might put its tail between its legs, or an excited wolf might actually wag their tail. So tails and butts are pretty important. All right, let's look at our next butt. Whoa, that's a weird looking butt. Look at that one. That's pretty strange. Uh, so this one, uh, it has a funny shaped tail on its butt, uh, but you'll be surprised what a flat tail can do. Let's see, what will that flat tail right there do? Hmm, let's see. Oh, it's a beaver. So uh, the American beaver, it has a wide flat tail that makes it waddle when it walks, but its tail is also very helpful. A beaver uses its tail to steer while it's swimming, uh, and also one slap of its tail on the water, whack! Uh, that will let other beavers know that danger is near, so they smack their tail on the water. That's pretty cool. Oh, look at that. That's a weird fuzzy butt, isn't it? That's right. Uh, it's white and it's fluffy. It kind of looks like a bunny's butt. But uh, this rump can actually run incredibly fast. What is it? Hmm, let's see. It's the pronghorn antelope. Look at that. So the pronghorn, they are the, some of the fastest land animals in all of North America. They can zip across the prairie at speeds of almost 70 miles an hour. Uh, that's as fast as a car. Vroom, right? That's pretty cool. Uh, and if you glimpse one of these speedsters, you may only see its white fluffy tail as it races away. That's pretty cool. Hmm, what? Oh, look at this butt. That's a, that's a fuzzy butt. But we're going to see this critter raise the tail on its butt. Uh, but don't get too close and you'll find out why. Because that butt belongs to... A skunk. Yeah, that's definitely not a butt you want to hang around. Uh, so a striped skunk has a stinky way of protecting itself. When it feels threatened, a skunk will spin around and raise its tail. Other animals had better stay away or they'll get sprayed. A skunk shoots its smelly, oily substance right out of its rear. Phew! Mmm, stinky. All right. Oh, that's a weird looking butt. This critter may have a cute fuzzy butt, but it's part of a powerful digging machine. Hmm, what could it be? Oh, it's a badger. So, uh, the growly and snarly American badger, uh, they have short, powerful legs. Their bodies are built for burrowing. And when they dig a hole, you'll quickly see the rumps disappearing behind a pile of dirt. In fact, badgers spend more time underground than above. They're just very powerful diggers. Gotta love that. All right, let's, ooh, that's a fancy butt. Hmm, this animal likes to show off its butt. Uh, but there's a reason why it shakes its tail feathers. So whose butt is that? Hmm. It's a grouse. Look at that fancy looking bird. Dusky grouse have plain looking tail feathers, but when they fan out their tails, wow, a boy can strut his stuff. He goes and struts about and he dances and he shakes his tail feather just to show off for a girl grouse. He's a fancy dancer. All right, that's a plain looking butt, isn't it? Hmm. Well, this shirt is a large fuzzy butt, uh, and that fur is very useful when it gets very cold. 
So whose butt is this? It's a bear butt. Uh, so the bear's butt, a black bear, is covered in fur from its head to its rump. A bear's soft under fur keeps it warm during cold months. Its rough uh, fur protects the bear from bug bites even. A bear's fur also repels water. After a dunk in a river, a bear just shakes off like a dog to get all the water off. There we go. Oh, there's a pair of little cute butts, aren't they? Uh, these animals have striped tails on their butts. But what are these critters looking for? Hmm, look at those striped tails. They're, of course, raccoon butts. Now, the northern raccoons, they're nocturnal, meaning, of course, they will mostly come out at night. Uh, they have dark masks across their faces and dark rings around their tails. These markings help them hide in the shadows at night as they look for food. Look at those cute little raccoons. Oh, there's another funny butt. Well, th this tiny critter has a twitchy butt, but there's a reason why it flutters about. Hmm, so whose is that? Why, it's a black cap chickadee. Uh, the black cap chickadee's twitchy tails help them to dart about as they feed. During the winter, small birds like chickadees struggle to stay warm, so they need to be quick when searching for food. Zip! And of course, food gives them the energy that they need to stay warm. So this is a pretty great book because it also has lots of animal facts about all of the different kinds of North American animals that you find in this book called Who's Butt by Stan Tekelia. So uh, definitely check that book out. But I have one more thing to show you, a very unique and strange butt. So if we could take a peek over here, I'm going to show you this animal's rear end. It's pretty interesting. So if we look at this one, right now of course some of you may recognize that that's a scorpion and that desert scorpion right there he's he's a little nervous right now which is why he's all tucked up in there uh, but you can see back here on his tail uh down in there you would see his stinger right now most people think because most animals, uh, their butt is actually under their tail. So think about your dog, like where your dog would go to the bathroom, it's right under their tail. But the strange thing about the scorpion's butt is that its butt is at the end of its tail. So just behind the bulb there where his tail, uh, the, the little spine there, which of course would inject the venom when he stings his prey, uh, that spot right there, just before it, is where his butt is. So here would be the strange thing. If he ever loses his tail, which sometimes can happens, happen, they, they actually can't go poop. And so that would be pretty sad if you couldn't go poop. And so of course that would not do very well for the scorpion if he lost his tail. Um, so that's just another interesting butt that we see on the different kinds of animals from whether it's in a book or whether it's live, you can learn a lot from animal butts. So you guys have a really great day. We hope that you're all enjoying yourself at home and um, don't be afraid to look at an animal's butt. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye everyone.